At the PM Gallery in London, a new exhibit of photographic sequences pays homage to Edward Muybridge, often called the godfather of film. He was the first known artist to use more than one camera to capture motion and to create animations from stills. In 1872, he was commissioned by Leland Stanford, former governor of California and racehorse breeder, to investigate whether horses ever actually have all four hooves off the ground while they gallop. Leland Sanford thought that photography could enable that theory to be proven once and for all. So he commissioned Mybridge to take, to, to, to come up with a, with a technical way, with a photographic way, to actually take a photograph of the horse as it's trotting. His technique was revolutionary considering the crude equipment available at the time. Mybridge created his sequences of um, a horse in motion, for example, by setting up um, a series of cameras at equal distances. Um, and these cameras were designed to fire the shutter when the horse was exactly in front of the camera. He had a series of trip, trip wires which the horse then ran through, tore the wires and the cameras fired the shutter. Moybridge's photos did indeed show the instant when horses are airborne while galloping. But he didn't stop there and developed the Zoopraxiscope, a primitive movie projector that displayed series of images painted onto rotating discs. The, the, the images were arranged in an order that then when he projected them and turned this, he simulated motion. So from the analysis of, his, of, of the movement, he then synthesized it to actually recreate it. And this was fascinating to the, to the, on his lectures, to his audiences. In this exhibit, the artists have used sequences of photos to represent different concepts, such as the lifespan of a tiger lily or to document a journey. It's more about art than science, which might have also been the case with most of Moybridge's work. One might question the scientific um, importance of looking at a picture or, or looking at breaking down the motion of a horse jumping over three horses. And I would argue in this uh, context that it is more to do with showmanship, more to do with amazement, more to do with creating images that would amaze and excite his viewers rather than necessarily with creating some sort of scientific information.